the next target. This bullet spells. This bullet spells. Let's end this. Let's get fired up. Thanks for really that. helpful. Let's end this here with Neptune Break. You don't give up, do you? Then please, have some more! This is the end! Prepare yourself! Use this! Thank you! to Noir now. Level up! All right, level up!
is it? And this here with Neptune Break. Ah! Eat this! You don't give up, do you? Then please, have some more. This is the end. Prepare yourself. My turn. And this here with Neptune Break. Ah! Eat this! You don't give up, do you? Then please have some more. This is the end. Prepare yourself. Spiral train! 
able to pull Beam Launcher, Overdrive! I'll slice through full power and shoot him down full power! for this moment.
Let's try going here. Let's do our best.
high player. See, I didn't trip on anything this time. Hmm. It feels like it's a little messier in here today, huh? I know I asked you last time, but are you okay with me cleaning up a bit? Cool. I'm gonna make this place spotless. I'll finish this up in no time. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, I'm fine. Oh, that was embarrassing. Please, don't stare. Okay, pens go over here. Okay, and games go... How about here? Yep, good. A game magazine. Okay, this goes... This is a good spot. Great, that'll do it. Ouch! <laughs> now I've done it. <laughs> um, it sounded a lot worse than it actually was. It's fine. It looks fine, right? It doesn't look like it's dented anywhere. Whew. That's good. Sorry for scaring you like that, player. But thankfully, nothing's broken. Honest! Um, I don't usually make silly mistakes like that. It's cool, right, player? Uh, yeah, as long as you're cool, I'm cool. Well, anyway, it's time I head back. You know, I... Might have made a mess of things today, but it was just bad luck. I just had an off day, you know? My visit was a little short today, but next time, I'll make this place clean. I promise. All right, then. I'll see you again soon. Hey, player. How have you been? So, um, today I thought I'd change my routine a little and ask you for some advice. Lately, I've been wondering a lot about my future. I'm not sure what I want to do. Huh? Well, the reason I'm bringing this up is... So, I'm the goddess of last station. But I'm also a girl. There's just been a lot on my mind. So I want to... Or, whoops, my friend. 
It's about my friend, all right? She's really interested in becoming a voice actress. Doesn't everybody dream about becoming a voice actor? I mean, even if you could debut as one, you don't get work if you can't pass auditions. Sometimes it's tough to stay relevant, too. Of course, she understands the road is a difficult one. But still, she really wants to become a voice actor. Do you think she would be able to make it if she just believes in herself? Yeah, you're right. As long as she believes in herself, she'll be able to see that dream come true. This is random, but if some kind of magic user told you, I can make your wish come true, would you believe them? <laughs> I know, right? It's too good to be true. But good answer. Plus, it would just be too suspicious. You can't just go walking around hoping people will grant you wishes like that. You have to make your own dreams come true. Thanks for listening. I think I just have to make sure that I stay positive. I'm sure one day I'll be a great VO. That's what my friend said anyway. Wow, we've been talking for a while, huh? It's about time I get going. I'll see you next time. I'm back again. What are you up to? Oh, what is this? Hmm, a popular VO's live CD. Oh, so voice acting is a flourishing job in your world too, huh? Actually, I was just shopping before I came over here. I bought a couple of live CDs myself. You know, VO live cities and stuff. Uh, um, well, I bought them because I, uh, well, that's because... Right! It's because my friend's an aspiring voice actor who's been asking me for advice. I bought a bunch of CDs to use as reference to answer any of her questions. Are you interested in VOs? Gotcha. So, you must know a little bit about the art of voiceover. I'm really curious about the VOs in your world. I know it's the same kind of job, but our approach must be different between our worlds. I could probably learn a lot. Uh, uh, sorry! I'm just talking to myself! <sighs> the CD's recording length is over two hours. Even if there's a little editing, the live performance itself must be around two hours, right? Maybe it's presumptuous of me to think I could do something like voice acting as a hobby. Of course I mean my friend said that, or she would say that! <clears throat> I'm sorry for yelling. I was glad we could talk about the VOs of your world today. I felt like I really learned something. 
I'll visit again soon. So maybe we can talk about voiceover stuff more next time. I feel like I can be a little more honest with myself when I spend time with you. Thanks for letting me look at your CD. I'll just put it back now. Bye! <laughs> I came back to see you. This is random, but I was wondering, do you have any siblings? I knew it! How did I know that? That's... The intuition of a goddess. Also, you have an older sibling's temperament. You act very calmly, you know. I think I told you before, but I have a younger sister named Uni. She works hard and I'm proud of her. She's so cute, too. But I always end up acting so uptight around her. Although, I do feel like we've been more open lately. The two of us have been through a lot together, too. Sometimes I think it's important to have someone who's always gonna be by your side, you know? I mean, not just uni, my friends, too. Um, I'm sure, well, you're my friend now, right? And you've been here for me every time I come and visit, and even now, you're here. Huh? My face is red? Is it really? But I'm really grateful for you. I'm glad that we've been able to keep meeting up and talking like this. Like friends. Player, I want to spend a lot more time with you. I'm sure for that to happen, we'll both have to be on the same page, won't we? But for now, I do have to get going. I wish I didn't have to, but I'll come back soon. I think this will be an exercise in patience.
Uh, hello. Um, so... I found the script for a role that anyone can audition for. I wanted to run through it a few times so I could help my friend practice, but, um, can you please help me read through it? I'm sure reading through the script with someone else would help. I won't take no for an answer. I'll be reading the role of the Demon King that talks to my friend's character. I looked over the script earlier, and this scene seems to be one of the highlights of the story. It's important we work on this one, okay? Let's begin. <sighs> All right. I'm ready. Here I go. Uh, well, it's not for me. This is going to be my friend's role. <laughs> it is I, the god of darkness, Chaos Obsidian! I... I feel it. My eyes are aflame with my supreme overlord vision. The full moon has doubled my spiritual energy, and my inner darkness overflows! I will send her this ring, sealing the pact and making her a member of my Nightmare Crusaders! We were together in our past lives. With this, that sacred bond will come to life once again! What? What is it? Huh? I look... excited? Oh, come on, don't tease me! <clears throat> Give me a second to gather myself. <sighs> In my hands, I wield the demonic sword Durandal and the sword of darkness Danesleaf. And in my grasp, the Dark Moon Shrine Princess, the resurrection of the Demon King, Super Satan, is... Oh, dear. <sighs> Shoot. I can't act if I'm embarrassed. But it's really hard to read such genuine and unfiltered trash. Oh, listen to me. Saying that just proves how bad of an actress I really am. Watch. I'll be... Uh, my friend, I mean... I have to read this seriously so I can help my friend really get into her role. You're still gonna help me with it, right? <laughs> Like things got a little carried away, but today was fun. I'm gonna get going now. I'll be back real soon, promise. See you later! The audition results are in! I got a character that wasn't the real hammy one! It's a small role, but it's still my debut. Thank you so much! I was able to get it with your help! I've been taking good care of my voice. I'm taking a lot of cough drops and wearing masks when I go out. I even bought a humidifier! It's my tool of the trade now. I've got to keep it safe. Also... Uh, that story about my friend, the aspiring VO? It was a lie. I'm sorry. It was really about me. I was the one who wanted to be a voice actor. At first I was too embarrassed to tell the truth, but you most likely figured it out anyway. Or did this come as a surprise? I figured as much. Thank you for not bringing it up, and for helping me with my practice. Anyway, my audition was accepted, so I guess I'm technically a professional now.
Uh, what is it? It's not like I'm overly happy or anything. But all I did was land the roll. I'm going to have to practice even more now. Of course, I'll have you help me too. My goddess duties take precedence, and I won't have much time, but it doesn't matter. I need to do this. All that's to say, you better be ready too. <laughs> hmm. Hold on a second. If I come here to practice, we won't have a lot of time to hang out normally. I don't know if I really want that. I take that back. I'm going to work on polishing up my lines more, and then I can run them by you. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, I need to start voice training immediately. I know I've already thanked you, but I really appreciate it. Thanks again. See you soon. Take care of yourself. So, this is pretty weird to ask, but are you at all interested in cosplay? What? Really? It doesn't weird you out? Anyway, I have a little bit of a request for you today. I kind of wanted to ask for your opinion on something. Lately, a lot of girls have been wearing really revealing outfits at cosplay events. Some of them are pretty much bikinis. <sighs> it just frustrates me. This is a what-if, of course. But if a person close to you was a cosplayer, would you be happy if they were in an outfit that showed a lot of skin? I see. Oh, well, I don't wear clothing that shows a lot of skin, so this has nothing to do with me. Huh? Well, I'm only asking because I'm just worried about the morality of the general public at conventions in my nation. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. Huh? My clothes show a lot of skin? Seriously? They seem normal to me, but... Hmm. And just so we're clear, the clothes I'm wearing right now are not cosplay. They might be a little different from the clothes in your world. But in my world, these clothes are normal. If I ever go out in your world, then I'll make sure that I get a hold of some normal clothes. Well, normal for your world, anyway. I'll have to study up on your world's fashion sense. So, whenever you finally decide to ask me to hang out sometime, I wouldn't want to embarrass you in public. J just kidding! All right. Well, I got your input on the cosplay issue. I'm gonna get going now. Okay, then. See you soon! So good! I can't believe it! It's good to know that you have fun anime in your world, too. Huh? Did you... fall asleep? Oh, really? Well, all right then. Anyway, I wonder what happens next. The performance of that new character's VO is so great! I'm really inspired! 
When she was fighting alongside the protag, her acting felt so noble, but it was still super cute. She's so amazing. This reminds me that I need to keep practicing. I want to get cool voiceover roles like this one. But just watching anime with someone is pretty great, too. We can watch an episode together and then just talk about it when it's done. It's nice, right? Don't you think so? Ah, I see. Great minds think alike. <laughs> What? Come on. Don't look at me like that. It's a little embarrassing. So, I may have become a voice actress, but I don't want to become complacent. I want to keep aiming higher for myself. Of course, I won't neglect my CPU duties. I know that we'll have real battles to fight in the future. Anyway... Um, if you think about it, I guess I'm here now thanks to everything that the player's done. Well, I mean, thanks to you. So, I really am grateful. Th thank you. Uh, I'm just thanking you, okay? Oh, why do I have to feel so embarrassed all the time? Just so you know, from now on, I'm going to be asking for your help a lot more. So, well... Be prepared, okay? <laughs>